Hey, what's up everybody? In part two of my Android tips and tricks series, I'll be bringing you along with me as I customize my Note 8 to my latest Nova launcher setup. It's gonna take about another week or so to get there, so make sure that you subscribe and follow along. Ian in here from Udroid Mania, and I've got two minutes on the clock, so let's do this. Did you know that you can set your phone to automatically open up the dialer or to the last section of the dialer used? Simply open the phone dialer, tap on the settings icon and select open to keyboard. It's just that easy. As you might remember, I do read a lot on my phone, but now as I'm doing so, I switch to monochromacy mode. To do this, you need to have developer options enabled. From settings, go to about phone, scroll down and tap on build number seven times. Next, tap the back button to go up one level and scroll down and look for developer options and tap on it. Inside developer options, scroll down until you see stimulate color space and notice that it's turned off. Tap on it and select monochromacy. Next, open up your reading app of choice. Trust me, your eyes will enjoy it. Fun fact, if you're low on battery, this mode can help you save power. Don't use the camera or phone icons on your lock screen. Replace them with something you would. To do this, head on over to settings, tap on lock screen and security, scroll down until you find app shortcuts, and then tap on it. Then choose the left and right shortcuts and replace them with something that you would use. This next one is for those ones that wonder where I get my wallpapers from. For me, it's a toss up between Google Plus and Zedge. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Google Plus, so be sure to check back often or you'll miss out on some awesome free wallpapers. Lastly for today, I always change my theme from the Samsung default. I get this question a lot, so here's what I use. To do this, just long press on the home screen and then choose wallpapers and themes. Once inside the app, search for theme SD black. Did you know you could change the theme of your always on display as well? We'll come back to that in another video, but you should try it out. Okay, so there you guys have it. That's this week's two minute tips and tricks video. We're getting closer to the details of how I like to customize my phone. And next week, we'll get into a few more of the apps I have installed and why I use them before finally switching to Nova Launcher. If you'd like to see this video series stick around on the channel, then let me know in the comments down below or with a big thumbs up. So before you go, you should know that I've got a couple of Whitestone Dome Levitt cases for the Galaxy Note 8. Shout out to Whitestone for sending these out. They're perfect for the dome protector, which I happen to have three of. And if you'd like a Whitestone dome protector and a case for your Note 8, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Like this video and leave a comment down below on what helped you most from this video. Winners are gonna be selected randomly on November 26th and announced in the video that I upload that day. So be sure to stay tuned for that. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.